Uh, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the election transmission uh, of PTV World. I have with me Zayed Kishkori, who is a senior journalist. Thank you for joining us. We also have with us Rana Isan Afzal Khan from the PMLN. Thank you for being with us. Um, Zayed Sab, uh, overall, how are you looking at things? What is the, the overall situation? Of course, we've seen a, a, you know, a massive turnout. Um, and of course, uh, one of the other things that's noteworthy is that it's by and large a peaceful election. And there was a lot being said about that. There was a lot uh, being suspected. And uh, you know, uh, that all of those things, uh, you know, it seems to be uh, uh, that the election is overall peaceful. We've seen a huge turnout also. Um, what is your overall feeling as far as uh, most of these uh, um, uh, cont uh, contests are concerned at this time? Uh, first of all, thank you very much, uh, Maruk, uh, uh, for the opportunity to discuss very important by polls uh, just uh, a year before the general elections. Uh, today, uh, overall, this perhaps the first by polls ever in the recent uh, Pakistan political history, mm. uh, which uh, go went well. Uh, overall, there was a peace, uh, no accident happened. Fortunately, mm. in 20 constituencies of uh, Punjab, and uh, uh, somehow 21 complaints were received uh, during the polling process from mm. 9, p 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., mm. and all were resolved by the Election Commission of Pakistan. So no such any serious complaints of allegation of rigging or violence uh, nothing happened. So overall, it's a good prediction mm. that uh, how people are now well aware of. And mm. uh, obviously, uh, credit goes to Election Commission of Pakistan and mm. law enforcing agencies uh, who have done their job well, and uh, political parties as well, because they created uh, awareness among its supporters mm. uh, and the voter as well that uh, how, how would you to compare execute. this how would you compare the turnout this time to let's talk about last uh, by polls uh, actually in the recent time uh, whatever mm. the by polls or the local body elections happen you know in the country the turnout was mm. uh, not quite uh, encouraging this time it's being said that uh, it's going 42% plus okay it could even uh, uh, at the end of the day collectively uh, reach up to 47 or 46 percent, which is quite uh, encouraging sign that uh, how people are much interested to vote mm. uh, this time. And uh, in bipolar, usually in Pakistan, masses uh, uh, did not, we did not see that they are much interested. Uh, but there's in the also, election. I mean, in that sense, this is one of those landmark by polls, I mean, in a lot of ways, right? As far as the Punjab government is concerned, the ramifications of the elections themselves. But, uh, absolutely, <coughs> you can say this, and uh, obviously there was a reaction from uh, a leading uh, political party, which is in the opposition, PTI, mm. early in the morning, that mm. uh, uh, we were not happy, they are saying this like this, but uh, mm. at the end of the day, at uh, 4 p.m., we were live on a TV program, we were speaking to vice chairman of the party, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, mm. he made it clear, mm. categorically, he said this, the election remained peaceful, it's a good thing. Right. When we asked the question that, uh, do you have any objection like uh, rigging or anything else which is happening according to you or your claim or your party leadership mm. sometime claim that he said, yes. no, I can't comment at the moment because everything is going well, but okay. at the end of the day, uh, as the results start coming out, we would be able to comment Whether on there such is questions. So it's a good thing that uh, as a seasoned politician and mm. the vice president of the party, he uh, declined to comment. Uh, let me let me uh, go to uh, Kamar uh, Dilshad, who is former secretary ECP. Thank you for being with us, uh, Kamar Sab. You, uh, we've been talking about how these bi polls are historic in a lot of ways, uh, <laughs> considering, of course, the effect, the potential effect of these bi polls. Uh, also, the fact that the turnout uh, is huge comparative to other elections. How do you look at things overall? In principle, first of all, I agree the point of view which made Mr. Your guest sitting before you. And he has told all the story in principle, in short work, that the election commission, the credit goes to the election commission of Pakistan. They manage the election, the by election in a very good manner. On the other hand, Mr. Shahbaz Gur was arrested on the order of the chief election commissioner because he was violating the code of conduct. 
it, it, it is not a good thing, but in, in principle, Ashraf in Pakistan had taken a very serious action against the Shahbaz Gul and on the, the Mr. Jamshed Jima. But mm. on the other hand, all the whole procedure done by the Ashraf uh, Pakistan is very good and amicably. And the turnout of the so by election, I think it will be in the rural area, it will increase about 50%. And in the urban area, it will extend the 60 and 65 percent, because the narrative of the both parties, Mr. Nav Mr. Ibar Khan and Ms. Ms. Maryam Nawaz, they motivated the people, they motivated the voters, and voters came out from their home and they vote and they casted their vote, and the the law and order situation was controlled by the army, ranger, police, and the credit goes to, also goes to the army chief. That they cooperated with the election of Bishop Pakistan on their advice. So, so in principle, the election or by election is very done in a very peaceful manner. It is a very good manner, and the voters cast their vote in a very amicably, in comfortably, in friendly mahal, in the, in the friendly atmosphere. The presenting of faces, the polling stations, they were sitting before in the polling station, and no complaint, no rigging the poll was made before the election of Bishop Pakistan. Even some uh, tips was given Mr. Shah Mehmet Qureshi, but it was not it was not a good uh, chance, a good advice for election in Pakistan, and they rejected the the allegation made by the Shah Mehmet Qureshi. On the other hand, the electoral rules, the the problem was electoral was also discussed before the press, but it was allegation. Electoral rules were used. The same electoral rules were used, which were used in the July 2018. This same, no change, no tempering the, the, in the electoral rolls list. So, so election was very held in a very good manner, and the chief election commissioner had taken a very good action, good stand action, in the, and the whole the. Uh, now it is requested through your ch channel okay, that the defeated party should accept the result of the uh, election commission of Pakistan and the by elections. Kamsab, in terms of how you look at these elections as a run-up to general elections, do you think that because of, of awareness at this time, and then of course you're talking about mobilizing people, uh, you know, both parties, Mariam Nawaz narrative, uh, also PTIs, uh, overall, uh, do you think that we can expect that kind of turnout now in the general election also, whenever that happens? Without going into project credit board, goes to also to Mr. Imran Khan. He motivated the people hmm. in a very good manner. See, only it is a very sorry that he made allegation wrongly yes, <coughs> yeah, positively. But on the other hand, Maryam Nawaz also took a very good to motivate the people and the voters. So, so credit goes to those two both parties, those two both leaders. Hmm. So, so voters came out, and the, the turnout will be in, will be increased up about I think in the rural areas more than 50 percent, and the urban areas it will be go to more than 60 percent. So, so but in principle, the, it was a good election, and it, it, because no a, a seriously incident was taken place. Some squirrel was also made on the, before the polling station, but otherwise the result will be come after two or three hours. And the highest hope is yeah, that the board, the defeated party, will accept the result made by the election of Pakistan and the people of Pakistan. So, so it is a good result. A turnout will be increased about more than 60 percent. Right. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for your uh, very valuable input, Kamar um, Dilshad Sab. We're going to go to Rana Ehsan Afsal Khan. Ji, Rana Sab, uh, uh, how do you how do you lo uh, look at things at this time? How is the PMLN faring? Uh, what are some of the reports you're getting? Uh, can you clue us in uh, as to what we can expect? Uh, thank you so much, Maro. Uh, I think overall uh, the elections were quite peaceful. Uh, as per the reports in the media, uh, out of the 3,100 polling stations uh, in the 20 constituencies, uh, only 14 or 15 uh, uh, polling stations had a problem, and that too was, was resolved uh, in, in the shortest period uh, of time possible. I myself was, uh, uh, you know, uh, going around PP97, which is uh, the seat in, uh, in Faisalabad uh, region, in the Jumra region. So uh, it was quite peaceful and we, we did not hear any problems coming from any of the polling stations and 
uh, there was one polling station where the polling stopped because of some skirmish, but that too was, was resolved in the next 15, 20 minutes. By the time I reached there, uh, uh, the polling had resumed. Uh, that being said, I, I feel that uh, as per our reports, uh, we are ahead on 14 seats. Uh, as mm -hmm. of now, uh, you know, uh, uh, there is a, a group that is monitoring the results and I've just, you know, uh, so, so 14 seats we are ahead, uh, but, but uh, the media is reporting something else. So I think, you know, uh, there is, this, this is going to keep on changing a little bit, uh, which, which uh, uh, and, I, and the final shape uh, is going to come in the next few hours. So we would better be able to comment on uh, which party is leading on how many seats, but we feel comfortable that uh, PMLN will be taking majority of the time. How do you look at things in the sense that, you know, of course, there was, it's it's uh, a huge credit, of course, to the Election Commission, the way that this election was conducted. I mean, there's no denying that there was some uh, reports of uh, the fact that some, you know, that there could be uh, perhaps some aggressive uh, you know, aggression from certain quarters, a lot was being said in terms of uh, people being charged, that sort of thing. And that didn't happen. We didn't see any, um, you know, aggression, any, uh, any uh, too much aggression one or, you know, any untoward incident, whatever one may say. And uh, they've been largely peaceful. Uh, also, allegations of rigging uh, haven't quite come in yet. Uh, and of course, those are very welcome uh, um, developments as far as these bipoles are concerned. Yes, another positive thing, Maruf, uh, to be seen <laughs> is that the voter turnout was pretty good. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, in, in PP97, where I spent most of the day, uh, it, the voters were coming out to vote. And I'm, I'm expecting that uh, the turnout is going to be above 50%, maybe even, it may even cross 60%, which shows that these uh, elections were uh, contested quite uh, properly and uh, the, the voters were taking quite an interest. So uh, this is quite positive. Uh, mm. The other thing, yes, the build-up, the, the narrative which was being built by the PTI uh, party that, you know, there's massive rigging and there are plans and voter lists have been changed. That was all across if some, you know, voters uh, were included in different areas and excluded in others it was the same it was all across it was not for one party so so but you know each party was doing politics on it so so i think uh, uh, these results should uh, be accepted by both the parties wh whatever they may be and uh, uh, these are very important results uh, for both of us for, for pti and the pdm uh, government because uh, if they're able to take a minimum of nine to ten seats that means we will retain the majority in punjab and uh, we're expecting we will do much better than that. So uh, if we're unable to do, do that, that means that the CM slot becomes uh, tough to manage uh, on the 22nd. So, 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 so a lot is to be, a lot is dependent on how the results are. We're <coughs> expecting a majority win. Ranazab, as far as your overall uh, uh, constituencies are concerned, where do you feel, you know, the margin in your opinion, of course, uh, where the margin may be uh, perhaps very close. Uh, which are those constituencies that you feel are perhaps, you know, in Lahore also, and there are some others where the reports are that the margins are quite close as far as PTI and PMLN are concerned? I think uh, the fact that this uh, campaign was quite polarized and it was mostly based on uh, narratives rather than, you know, past performance. Uh, uh, that at least I could say that for uh, uh, PTI. So there was mm. a lot of you know uh, uh, narrative being thrown uh, regarding an international conspiracy and um, the fact that this, there's a lot of inflation plus uh, you, uh, you know targeting uh, uh, these uh, Munharif Arakeen or dissidents of PTI that they are turncoats versus uh, you know our narrative that we want to bring the economy back on track and uh, mm. all of this inflation is related to the last previous government and rather we're cleaning up the mess. So yes, uh, uh, it is going to be a close call on the uh, majority of the seats. Even the Peslabad seat, I believe it's going to be closely contested. And uh, uh, a, a lot of it, you know, we have had a disadvantage that uh, uh, on the fact that uh, this inflation, the super commodity cycle in the world, 
uh, kicking in in the last three, four months and uh, the fact that it has caused a lot of inflation plus a false narrative that we are responsible for it. We have tried to cover it and we were hoping that uh, our narrative is going to stick in and uh, in the form that uh, we will be winning majority of the seats. But, you know, uh, we're waiting and we're hopeful. Right. Uh, please stay with us. Let me uh, go to Dr. Zarka, who's a uh, senator with PTI. Uh, Dr. Zarka, overall, what is your feeling about the elections? Uh, you know, we saw uh, Shah Mahmood Qureshi Saab, he didn't comment on rigging or any such incident. He said that that we'll have to see. Um, uh, overall, how do you feel? How does the PTI look at them? They've been, of course, you know, uh, commendable that these by-elections have been uh, peaceful and, of course, the turnout overall. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I think um, we cannot say that um, uh, th there's been a lot of high-handedness. There's been, you know, uh, they uh, arrested uh, Shabazz Gill. They've arrested uh, PTI workers, 15 PTI workers from 167. This was in the afternoon. There was, and it was all one-sided. And then they've arrested uh, Jimsheh Dikbal Chima, They've, there's been a lot of high-handedness, and we've seen that throughout the day. And then the pre-poll rigging, unfortunately, which the uh, Election Commission is responsible. I mean, my sister lives in Gulberg. She and her husband have been voting for the last 15, 20 years. And this time, her vote was in, uh, was in Valencia town, and her husband's vote was in Gulberg. And this is, this is a trend that we've seen throughout that women and uh, young people, their votes have been picked up from the family, uh, from the households and thrown elsewhere. Um, it, this has also been seen that people have been declared dead. There, there was a list of 40,000 people who were, uh, this is from the election commission, this was picked up. Uh, erroneously uh, reported dead and that uh, we've all seen on television this one person who was declared dead and uh, he went to four or five polling stations and he said no I'm very much alive then there's been reports of families you know there are seven people living in a house but there have been two three extra people who've been added to the household and the members of the family don't know who they are so and uh, this you know, really needs to be investigated because it is not the mandate of the election commission to make the lists. We have Nadra. We have a very good uh, system of um, uh, biometric tracing, and it's one of the best in the world. Why is the election commission doing this, and why is nobody able to call them out? They are, uh, the, you know, the way they uh, uh, give, gave a notice to Shah Mahmood Qureshi, the way they've arrested uh, Shabazz Gill, and it is only because PTI itself is not a militant organization. We don't believe we are all peaceful people. If it had been a PTI government and uh, the Noon League people were on the other side, believe you me, there would have been a lot of violence. It is because our party is not a violent party. And we have seen the bias, unfortunately, which has been exhibited by the administration. The police will do as they are told. And we've seen the kind of aggressive and unfair statements given by the interior minister, the way uh, the high handedness in which the, you know, even an SHO, in it, all these things are documented. It was on television, the Shekhupura SHO was uh, harassing the voters in Shekhupura. So this high handedness, the entire way that uh, PMLN is trying to uh, manage this election is very unfortunate. Dr. Uh, Zarka, let me come back to you. I'm going to go yes. to uh, Irfan Ghori Saab. Uh, Ji, Irfan Saab, uh, I hope you've been listening to what Dr. Zarka is saying. Are these instances, I mean, these uh, these random instances or isolated incidents or what, what you can call them, uh, but by and large, it doesn't seem like we saw any, uh, you know, overall uh, uh, violence or that kind of an incident um, where one can say, in your opinion, how do you see things? Do you think that, you know, overall things remained peaceful? Um, overall, people were able to vote easily. What's your take on this? Uh, thank you, Maruk. I think uh, uh, what we were, you know, fearing um, since the, we when we saw the election campaign, it was so divisive on both sides that uh, the tempers were really high. 
and uh, many analysts and the many people in the field they feared violence uh, and uh, what we have seen today though there were some uh, incidents uh, which is unfortunate which we shouldn't happen especially when you know democratic process it's now many years now that we have been you know seeing elections regularly they shouldn't have happened but uh, a few incidents they had happened but overall uh, what we have seen is you know the the elections were conducted in a, a much a better way in a very organized way and uh, like you know in 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 some by polls if you remember you know uh, a year or two back uh, even it was an election in one constituency or two constituencies there was much more violence and uh, you know such as the line out of situation over there mm. here since the voters were charged the you know the political uh, parties and their leaders the way they were you know uh, giving the statements uh, we were expecting such things but it is uh, you know it is a good thing that uh, uh it's it's not as nothing like that has happened overall ji irfan saab can you hear me ji i can hear you ji but overall in terms of uh, these allegations as far as uh, you know people saying uh, dr zarka mentioned that votes being allocated in a in a household to different locations or uh, people you know in this one instance i think one person having been declared dead all of those things do you think it's it could be mismanagement what what how do you look at these these or inadvertent errors how do you look at them i think these are the allegations which should be you know taken very seriously if the votes mm-hmm. have been you know i mean in our case i have seen that though we are not you know i'm i live in uh, islam uh, i mean in rawal pindi basically mm-hmm. and uh, in our family the votes they have been you know we live in one house but we four five votes they are at different you know i mean though they are in same constituency maybe but they are in different areas which is uh, i think very common mistake mm-hmm. and very common complaint and election commission should look into these things because these are very technical things uh, where you know uh, what we call the marriage uh, gerrymandering this is the way you know the, the allegations of uh, uh you know vote rigging and uh, this the how it takes place so um, these allegations should be you know looked into very uh, i mean very seriously because uh, otherwise you know if somebody is giving any statement that this rigging has taken place or you know on some uh, incidents that's a separate thing but this thing mm-hmm. that the votes uh, of one family are you know certain families they have been you know taken out from one constituency to another area or even in the same constituency but they have been distributed in areas you know where a certain right if i can let me let me come back to him go to zaid sahab zaid sahab do you think it's also indicative because we've been having you know overall as far as the the call for elections the the protest for elections the demand for elections general elections which is one of the main demands as far as pti is concerned imran khan sahab is concerned and there was a lot said by the election commission uh, about preparedness and the fact that they were perhaps not prepared to hold general elections do you think that also uh, you know these kind of errors or these kind of uh, you know uh, this organ- this disorganization or these the, these kind of problems that is being talked about is indicative of perhaps that also because you know uh, even in by elections uh, these are you know these were not scheduled elections these were not expected elections the way things have have panned out in your experience actually uh, first of all as uh, dr uh, uh, zarka was saying that mm. uh, nadra should have been handled this uh, uh, sort of things which uh, mm. highlighted and pointed out by irfan khori sahab mm. it's a very va- valid point he raised this the election commission of pakistan must address such kind of issues because now it's a digital world and uh, mm. they should come out of it and uh, make good of all what mm. exactly the some voters were complaining that uh, mm. their votes were shifted but they were not informed this is mm. very important issue mm. it has been happened in the recent history as well so as dr zarka was saying this i understand uh, she is a member of parliament she mm. knows very well that uh, the election act 2000 uh, 17 categorically said this is job of election commission of pakistan hmm. no other institution until the 
top uh, country, top poll body engage the institution to uh, manage all such things and it's not another job to do it all. But does so it it's the job of election commission but of Pakistan. In terms of, I think in terms of retention of data, isn't that, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know this. Is it, is it Nadra's job to have that kind of data available for the election commission, as I understand it, or no? Uh, yes, it's Nadra's job to maintain computer list and all these things, but the basic and fundamental body and the powerful body is election commission of Pakistan. Nadra right. cannot operate until the election commission of Pakistan and its IT department and other uh, departments engage the institution to come up with uh, such uh, ideas or the new things. But is it indicative, in your opinion, is this indicative of any any real rigging? Because, you know, it could be happening across the board. And I think I'll go to Rana Esan Abdul Khan also to ask his opinion if it's happening to the PMLN uh, voters also. But it could be an across the board uh, thing, you know, in terms of disorganization. It's Absolutely, not just it's across the board. And all voters, not all voters, I think mm -hmm. uh, we have really seen this today that uh, there were many much uh, more complaints like this. But mm -hmm. uh, yes, there are serious complaints. It, it should be addressed. And uh, taking this debate to, uh, to the next step okay. now, as uh, now the result management system, mm. Election Commission of Pakistan has installed it now and just around 4% uh, result delivered so far. And uh, I just have seen a couple of uh, tweets of uh, PTI top leadership that the system is now uh, is not working, it's uh, slow down and this is a conspiracy like that. I think the such attitude and uh, uh, should be discouraged because early in the morning at 7.30 I have seen many uh, senior leaders uh, from different political parties, particularly from the opposition, PTI, that they were saying this, now the rigging has been done and uh, mm. a situation has been created mm. against them and uh, poll and the boxes have been, there was uh, been things filled up like this. So see that the, these allegations right have no ground otherwise, mm. because as the senior leadership, as I told you, that uh, Shah Mahmood Qureshi was saying this that uh, everything is going well, and he has been in his uh, uh, campaign uh, uh, categorically saying, saying this that uh, I have no idea about uh, any other thing which otherwise the top leadership of PTI have been accusing many institutions, naming many persons that uh, they are uh, campaigning against us. They have planned the rigging and to steal the election like this. Otherwise, now I just, we, I'm just uh, taking the details mm. and being updated from sources that 63% uh, uh, ratio was the turnout in Bakr. Okay. So can you imagine that uh, we are uh, expecting and hoping that this turnout mm. is an encouraging sign that how people were uh, mobilized, mobilized yes. by uh, all the political parties mm. as uh, by PTI, Imran Khan and Maryam Nawaz. And this is well. not just one party. I mean, when we say that people are mobilized, we don't mean the P uh, PMLN just, we mean the PTI also and overall, you know. Overall, it's a very good sign. As you mm. see, on this forum, five years back, we were discussing bipolar like this. As Ifansa was mentioning mm. this, that uh, what happened in Deska, you know, the violence yes. and anything, and th th there was investigations like this, but overall the 20 constituencies, uh, uh, 4.6 million plus votes and 14 districts were covered today. So it's a, a good sign and uh, 176 mm. plus candidates were contesting these elections. And there is a tough contest in almost all constituencies. And I don't know that which political party would be taking the lead, but mm. apparently it looks this that. Uh, that it's a, it's a, a hot contest. A hot contest, but uh, always bipoles have a history that uh, a party in the. Uh, in the government. A, a party in the government, obviously the government takes advantage of it and it takes, takes the lead in a different contest. But mm. uh, somehow today. That, uh, that impression isn't coming across. Uh, I think so. And, and the one thing is very good that uh, these elections uh, gave the people a good sign. It was a good rehearsal mm. to top leadership of the parties, mobilize the people and it could be good for the upcoming general election. Also the election. potential of the election, you know, the potential in the sense that the, the potential upset in Punjab is so huge that, you know, these, these, these seats are, I mean, they have, there's a lot of, 
riding on this. This is very important. The number is uh, very tight mm. now, the 174 mm. with uh, mm. the PDM garment in Punjab mm. by uh, PMLN, of course, mm. uh, leading it. And right. the PTI right. is 173. So uh, it's so a top contest uh, between the two parties, and uh, that's why all eye on these results. Right. Let me go to Rana Hassan as well. Ji, Rana Saab, uh, in terms of uh, these allegations that, uh, you know, Senator Zarka also mentioned in terms of mismanagement, one can call it, or perhaps a disorganization, uh, how do you look at this, you know, votes being distributed in this manner or, you know, between one household allocated to different areas, things like this? Um, how, how do you look at those allegations that are now coming from the PTI? We have similar complaints from the ECP. Okay. Uh, I, I, when mm. I was uh, moving around, uh, they were reported that many of our votes, uh, uh, one single house vote, votes were, uh, you know, where they were in, uh, allocated firstly in the same polling station. Uh, uh, this time, it was not the case. And similarly, mm. that she mentioned that 40,000 voters have been declared dead. Those are not PTI voters. Those are, you know, voters from all parties. So, so hmm. you know, uh, these sort of mistakes by the ECP are all across. And we also have complaints against that. And my vote was usually, you know, uh, in a vicinity which was just half a kilometer away, a uh, recent model school. It was shifted to another uh, 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 school. But uh, hmm. when they were doing it, you know, if, if, you, if the voter is aware and if he sends his SMS on a certain number, then that location comes. And then there was a form that I filled uh, uh, saying that this uh, uh, my polling station should be this polling station and not the other one that was allocated by ECP. So yes, mm -hmm. these these complaints are there from our side as well, but mm -hmm. uh, that they, they do not mean that they, you know, PTI is the target of them. PMLN is also a target of uh, that and this should not be happening and ECP should take notice. Whereas, you know, she talked about Shabazz Gill uh, being uh, uh, arrested, that was mm. because there was a public display of weapons, and and okay. uh, I think the the high handedness of the uh, law uh, of the law enforcement agencies or ECP is good that we did mm. not see anyone getting killed uh, mm. in these by elections, which is usually the case. Uh, where you you hear that someone died, and I think uh, we should commend the ECP and the law enforcement agencies that. Uh, uh, nothing of that sort happened. Uh, when you mm. when you do public display of weapons, obviously these sort of tactics lead to uh, things getting out of control. So so instead of saying uh, playing the political victimization card, we should make sure that we do not violate the code of conduct of the Election Commission of Pakistan. And I think again I would repeat that out of the 3,100 polling stations, uh, 14 polling stations. Uh, had an issue or a problem and polling was delayed in them, that is less than 0.01% uh, 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 of, uh, you know, complaints coming overall. So that means that the overall election was really good. It was well managed. Uh, right. And, let and me go know, to Dr. Zarka. I hope you've been listening, Dr. Zarka, to what uh, Rana Hassan Saab is saying, and I'll let you respond. Thank you very much. Uh, I would also like to mention that there's been a, a video on television about this gentleman who was the assistant presiding officer in one of the polling stations who cast 600 votes while he was sitting there. And the guy is on video and uh, he's, uh, you know, he's not denying the allegations. The entire staff is over there. So uh, having said all of this, the uh, administration, you see, what needs to be understood is that this was PTI versus 14 of their parties, plus the administration, plus the invisible people in this country. It has been a very, and election commission has been very biased. I mean, uh, we all know the history of, you know, of all parties in Pakistan. I would just like to say we are all Pakistanis. We are all here because Pakistan is there. Having said that, I would like to point out that if you look at the previous history and behavior of PMLN uh, and their display of uh, weapons and their, uh, you know, from Rana Sanaullah to uh, Khwaja Asif and Essen Iqbal, I mean, we all know that in the 2018 election, Khwaja Asif and uh, Mr. Essen Iqbal had lost their seats at night. 
while in the morning when we got up both Khwaja Asif and um, Mr. Hassan Iqbal had won and uh, someone has a, a very powerful person in Pakistan has come on uh, on the media and said that uh, we know what happened and you know we got phone calls from them and then things were corrected so we know what happens in Pakistan. It is it is common knowledge now, thank God. That Dr. Zarka, as far as these elections Pakistan are concerned, what happens in this country. let me interject. So, uh, in terms yes. of... Ji, in terms of the elections at this time, the way they're looking, the way that we haven't seen any major incident happen overall, uh, will you, will the PTI accept the results? Uh, uh, you know, will they accept whatever, you know, uh, whether they win, they lose, how many seats, all of those things? Uh, what, what is it overall, what is the overall feeling? What, what, is, what is the narrative as far as the P, uh, PTI is concerned? Are you going to okay, accept so the results? If you look at the results right now, I mean, mm. there were only 20 seats. Polling Indeed. finished at five o'clock, so it is not. It should not be difficult to have all the results before nine o'clock today. Mm. Um, and uh, as we can see right now, from out of the twenty seats, we have about twenty to forty percent of the results on most seats. Some have given seventy percent. This is all, of course, unofficial. Um, and um, we, as we see the numbers, PTI has fifteen has lead in fifteen seats. Uh, PMLN is leading in four seats and independence in one. Now we will see how uh, the things play out and we will know tomorrow morning what if any uh, uh, any play has been done with these votes. So it is yet to be seen, but the numbers are there in front of everybody and we will know by tomorrow if any uh, handling is done, any management is done. Uh, so, so let's wait and see. Right. Ji, Irfan sahab, uh, of course, you know, uh, you heard Dr. Zarka, you heard Rana Ehsan Afzal also. In terms of what, you know, at this time, the kind, the results, you know, it's not, there's no indication of whatever is, is at this time on, at play, on screens, uh, is not really an indication of the whole result at this time. And, uh, you know, at this time, one can't really predict how, which way it will go. Isn't that true? Before uh, answering your question, I think uh, the issue that uh, the earlier question, I couldn't complete my, you know, mm. uh, my, whatever I wanted to say. It's actually, you know, the distribution of votes, you know, in, 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 in our electoral rolls. Gee. When we see that the both political parties, I mean, PMLN and PTI both have uh, the representatives of both parties, they have uh, similar complaints. Mm. Uh, I think this is yeah. also indicates that there is a need for these political parties that they should educate their voters as well and the voters mm. as uh, in uh, as a citizen as well that like in my case I just you know randomly I checked when they said that the voters list have been updated mm. it's very simple uh, that on 8300 you send your CNIC yes. and you will get mm. you know the the uh, details mm. of your vote where they, they have been registered and I think this is a matter which where citizens themselves and the political parties they should also you know they should also educate the, the general public coming to your question uh, yes the results now it's it's i think 20 or 25 percent i mean the the uh, polling stations results they have come and it seems uh, till now that pti is taking lead but hmm. uh, this is not the final result still we we say mm. the we, we see the complete results, unofficial results, and the, in many consequences, the uh, race is very tight. It's only mm. few votes difference or few hundred votes mm. difference, which is you know which indicates that it can. Irfan sir, which that. constituency in particular do you feel is very close at this time? Uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's, you, you can see in you know the major constituencies like in Multan, in, uh, in certain constituencies of Lahore, in mm. in Faisalabad, which are deemed to be very important constituencies over there. The race is quite uh, quite. Uh, I mean, it's very a uh, tight race there, and we uh, mm. and the results can go anywhere. Uh, at the same time, uh, what we have seen is the you know Dr. Zarka, she's still saying that um, it will their party would see yes they have the right they would uh, i mean to mm. decide whatever the way but the mm. earlier statements from their leadership it showed mm. that if 
the results did not come as per their you know their desires uh, mm -hmm. they might not or like you know the statement that was given by Shabazz Gilsa when uh, before he was uh, uh, arrested that if the uh, if the results I mean if the PTI loses in certain constituencies or loses the elections as a whole um, mm -hmm. you guys have to come out on the streets and you know block the roads and these things I think these provocative statements they shouldn't I mean they shouldn't come before you know unless you have certain evidence because such statements they make the whole process you know uh, disputed and uh, it ultimately it is not uh, a good omen for the democracy you know a democracy is a process where we see you know every time you learn something and in the societies where we see for which we give examples they have elections you know number of times they had been going they had gone through these exercise and they have reformed when we criticize our system, we should also give credit to the to, to certain, you know, whatever the uh, whatever the improvement that we have bought. Like in these cases, what we earlier discussed that the way the campaigns were, you know, conducted, it was so, you know, the atmosphere was so charged that uh, everybody feared that these would be, you know, they might be, God forbid, they might be very bloody elections. But that didn't happen. But they're so not, yes, thankfully. They're, they're not. It, it Gee, let go. me go to Zayed Sab. Zayed Sab, uh, uh, what is your overall feeling as far as acceptance of these results are concerned? Before the overall feeling, I, I think you were running out of time. Uh, Gee, the latest no update uh, I got Gee. from Election Commission of Pakistan, uh, 823 polling stations uh, results uh, have been received so far. Hmm. There are around uh, 3,300 plus polling station. PTI is uh, taking 47% vote and 41% by PMLN. It's a, it seemed to be a tough contest between the two parties. Mm. And the uh, overall feeling, absolutely political parties, when they are winning the election, any political party, they accept the result. And, but the behavior of PTI have been um, overall discouraging. But uh, now, as they are taking the lead, they are now saying this, everything is going well. We don't know what happened after 1 a.m. tonight, mm. and they would decide then about the mm. result declaration. So, where there is a good, they are happy. We don't know either it's uh, good for the government or for the PTI. Now, the uh, result uh, started coming out, right. and it seemed to be a very, very tough contest mm. and interesting as well. Uh, let's hope let's for the best for democracy. Ji Rana Saab, your comments, um, we're running out of time overall. Uh, do you think that, you know, as, as far as acceptance of results is concerned, uh, do you think that, you know, you will generally, we will have uh, both parties accepting the results at this time? How do you, how do you feel overall? I think, uh, you know, there should be a strong reason for not to accept the result. Uh, mm -hmm. If there is evidence of rigging, of course, uh, you know, one should uh, fight on that and one should go to the ECP as well. But if there are there is no uh, evidence that can be provided or which is tangible, uh, then I think you know the results should be accepted, rather than you know this. We are the economic situation of the country and the overall scenario of this parliamentary democracy that we have is quite weak today. Things are quite polarized. So if we keep attacking uh, the institutes and the systems without mm -hmm. evidence or without any solid proof. We are weakening the system and doing nothing else. And we are, you know, creating a reason for the citizens of Pakistan who, who already have a trust deficit on this system to deliver, uh, to further deteriorate rather than strengthen. So uh, I, I feel that, you know, uh, currently, uh, whatever the result is right now, it is in favor of uh, PTI, it seems, but we're still hopeful that we will win a majority of seats. But uh, I think one should accept the result. Uh, 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 even if we are in majority or if we lose uh, uh, these seats in majority, we should have, uh, 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 you know, the, the guts to uh, uh, accept the results unless we have some tangible uh, evidence that uh, 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 there, there is rigging. So, of course, right, very uh, that aptly is my point. Put, uh, very aptly put. As far as uh, overall, let's see what happens. Uh, we'll know more. 
uh, in a little bit. Uh, we'll be taking a short break uh, for the headlines to come back uh, and uh, see what's uh, in store as far as the elections are concerned. The by-elections happening in Punjab. Uh, uh, please stay with us.